If you're out in the field and you don't know which way is north or south, you might have heard as a kid, look at the sun and in the morning the sun is east and in the afternoon the sun is west. But that's not really true because in the summer the sun is high in the sky and in the winter the sun is low in the sky. So it can be hard to tell what's east and west uh, simply by the sun. I'm going to show you a very easy way to know with absolute certainty where east and west this is. This exercise, you want to take a uh, stick, and it doesn't matter how tall the stick is. I'm using a garden stake, uh, but it really doesn't matter. You need to have a place, obviously, um, in the sunlight, and put the stick in the ground. Um, kind of straight, but it doesn't hugely matter. Um, take, uh, get some rocks in your hand and take one rock. So I'm going to start with this rock and place it where the shadow of the stick falls on the ground. Um, so it can be a little bit hard to tell which of this is the shadow, but if you see, I'm, I'm touching the stick and that's telling me where the, sh where the uh, shadow of the stick is and it's right here. So I'm going to place that rock right where the shadow is. And then I'm going to wait about um, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes has passed. Let's take a look at the shadow. So stick. Here's the shadow. And there's the rock. Now, if you look, you can see, remember we put the rock on the top of the shadow 15 minutes ago, but the shadow has moved. So let's place another rock where the shadow is now. I'm going to touch the top of the stick so I know where it is. And I place the rock right there. Now, the line between these two rocks, we're gonna get the direction on. I'm gonna use flagging tape okay, just, to, just to highlight it a little bit. So this tape is basically showing the direction between these two moves. Now, we get a compass. And what direction do you think um, this tape should be, should be lying? So let's see. So I'm lining the compass up with the um, with the rocks. I'm twisting the dial so that it hits red, and it's a little bit off of east. Well, that's strange. Why should that be? Well, that's because of declination. So when I correct for the declination, we find that the middle of the lines, the middle of these rocks, are pretty much directly east-west. It's not exact, but it's close. Now, which one is east and which is west? Well, the sun moves from east to west, but the shadows move from west to east. So the second rock, which is the top one, is on the east side of the line. The first rock, which is the bottom one, is at the west, is, is, is pointing west. So this is a very quick way, if you're in the field, you're stopping for a break, a water break, or lunch, and you're not sure of your direction, you can use the shadow method to determine east and west.